I'm somewhere in the middle Try to find myself again But life is one big riddle Of the future and what's been Guess it's the way it goes And I will never know Why you let me go Look to the left, look to the right Nothing can stop me in the night Like I am leaving all the bad stuff And trying to remain so strong I know it's good if I move on I got it, I got it say that I do not want to work out right now oh it's nine o'clock already on a Saturday morning let's see if I can do this I did it right on hey you guys what's up welcome back to my channel it is your girl Brittany Jade and we are doing another full day of eating keto today I was not planning on intermittent fasting today, but the time right now is 11.45 and I am just now getting ready to eat. So inadvertently, I think my body's just kind of used to like not eating until around this time. So let's go ahead and get on into today's video. I'm really glad that you guys are here. I hope that if you guys enjoy this kind of video that you would go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I hope you guys would hit that little red subscribe button and the little notification bell because I do like to throw in a bunch of random videos when I can. But you can consistently count on a Wednesday, what I eat Wednesday video every Wednesday here on my channel. It will always be something circulated around my postpartum fitness journey and what I'm currently eating to aid me in that. I feel like I've been on a weight loss journey for forever. So if you're new here and you don't know much about me, I am always... It seems like I'm always on a weight loss journey, but I did have a baby in August of 2019. So my son is almost 11 months and... It's just been a crazy ride. I am about, I weighed in this morning at 158 pounds. So I am about 11 pounds away from my pre-pregnancy weight and I would really love to get back there. I am currently getting ready to go on a Labor Day trip. So I am being super strict keto until then because I want to look amazing in a bikini. I'm going to look amazing in a bikini no matter what. So I just want to stress that like the size of your body doesn't matter. But for me, I just really want to work hard and, you know, gain as much confidence as I can in my body on the beach in a swimsuit. Uh, so that's what I'm working towards right now. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get on into today's video. All right, you guys. So I have recently become really obsessed with Thomas Delore over on YouTube. I have been watching a ton of his videos and implementing some of the things that he recommends for like breaking your fast and the kinds of foods that we as women need uh, to be successful on the keto diet. So I am a huge fan of lazy keto. You will catch me doing lazy keto like 90% of the time, but I figured that I would do a little bit of an experiment this week. Um, so for breakfast or for breaking my fast today, I'm going to have a uh, one whole egg this is a store-bought egg and then I've got one um, like farm egg that my friend gave me her uh her like neighbor brings her over chicken eggs all the time. So um, what Thomas Delore recommends is using one full egg and then the yolk of the other egg. This is gonna give you a ton of healthy fats uh, and it's gonna get rid of the cholesterol in the egg white. So because I don't like chicken, like I tried this before with all chicken egg and this, the flavor was really strong. I am definitely a pasteurized egg person, uh, but I do enjoy a good farm egg when I can. So I'm going to take the yolk from this because this is super healthy and then I'm gonna do a whole egg pasteurized. And then I'm gonna top it with a little bit of this smoked salmon. I just picked this up at uh, my grocery store. This stuff is so good and I'm going to scramble the egg eggs in the egg yolk in this ghee. Ghee is clarified butter and I just picked this up at my grocery store. Ghee is pretty expensive you guys so definitely shop around. I'll try and see if I can find like 
like the most inexpensive place, but check your check your local grocery stores for sure um, because this stuff can be kind of an expense. I think I paid like $14 for this or something, which is like ridiculous, but it does last you a long time and it is really good for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this up and I'll show you what it looks like. So my smoked salmon um, is like the cool, you know, it's cold and everything. It's like a cold cut and I don't really like it like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and warm it up just a little bit. All right, so this is my food and I'm also gonna make my coffee right now. Um, so I am just gonna be brewing one of these Starbucks Keurig pods today. This is what I'm feeling. So for coffee today, I'm just gonna be brewing one of these Pike Place um, brews. I'm gonna actually be using a scoop of my Perfect Keto base. I'm gonna be using a scoop of this Perfect Keto collagen and then I'm also gonna be using a little secret ingredient. I'll show you guys that. I'm gonna take y'all out here to my little herb garden that I got going on over here. I'm gonna use some of this parsley because parsley just, it literally grows like a weed. Look at my one head of broccoli, y'all. I'm about to pick this thing and eat it. I think it's ready, um, but I'm curious why nothing else is growing. So my cilantro kind of died. I think I need to like prune it or something and my cucumbers are not doing well. So my tomatoes are doing good, but we'll see what happens and my lettuce is growing back. I love my lettuce. I think I'm starting to get a little bud there on my uh, bell pepper, but we'll see what happens. And my basil is not doing too hot either, but you know, we'll see what happens. We will see what happens, y'all. So I just got this little bit of parsley that I'm gonna chop up. I love parsley, it just adds a nice little flavor. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and mix up my coffee. I've got my powders in there and my base. And um, I'm going to be adding in, instead of like traditional creamer, you guys, I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of canned coconut cream. I'll show you the can that I used. Um, but this has been such a nice thing. This was also on recommendation of Thomas Delore, who I have been watching a ton of recently. So this is the can of coconut milk that I have been using um, in my coffee. I just bust open the can and then I store it in a different container in my fridge. And you guys, it's so nice and thick. It just like really gives your coffee like a really nice consistency and um, like makes it really nice and creamy, which I love. So go ahead and add that in there. And then I'm also gonna sprinkle in a few sprinkles of cinnamon. So this is the cinnamon and I just like do like a few little sprinkles in there. Y'all, cinnamon makes your coffee taste so good. Like you literally need no stevia, no nothing in here. It just gives it like a nice flavor. I'm so excited for fall to like do a little bit of sprinkle like of cinnamon and a little bit of pumpkin pie spice. Oh my God. Who's ready for fall? Let me know in the comments down below if you're ready for fall because I'm so excited. There we go. I just got my coffee and my eggs and my smoked salmon and this is gonna be my first meal. Lots of nice healthy fats here and really delicious. So I'll catch you guys at the next time I eat. All right, you guys, it is way later. It's five o'clock right now. I'm about to make dinner, but I'm gonna have a snack. I'm gonna have half of a serving of this um, seaweed. Um, these are really good. And then I'm also gonna have probably like a handful, just like a handful of these nuts here. This is like a combination that I got at Costco and I just stuck it in these jars so they stay nice and fresh. And that's gonna be like my little snack while I'm getting ready for dinner. Normally I would never let this much time go in between eating, but it's Saturday, I've been working like a mad person, so this is gonna get me through. I'll catch you guys at dinner. All right, y'all, so we're gonna be making some burgers tonight. So I just got some seasoning here. I'm just gonna season it with some garlic powder some pink Himalayan salt, and some black pepper. And I'm gonna knead all of this together, but first I'm gonna get on some, I do a lot of salt, y'all don't mind me. We are on the keto diet after all. I'm gonna do a little bit of pepper. And then I'm gonna also add in some of this. Now this is steak seasoning, but I've been using it and I've been obsessed. 
This was actually in a recent grocery haul video that I did and it is a Kinder's buttery steakhouse sauce. Y'all, this stuff is so good. I feel like I've been adding it to everything, like more than just steak, but I'm gonna add this in here because I feel like it would give it some really good flavor. And then I'm just going to knead all of this together. Now, I don't add onions or anything to my burger patties, but I am gonna add some bacon into the meat, so let me show you how I do that. Okay, so I picked this crumpled bacon up. This is the bacon that is at Costco. And I like this because it's already like cooked and crumpled up, which is what I typically use bacon for, unless it's like breakfast, you know? And I, I keep this in my freezer, so literally I can just take it out as I need it, go ahead and put it in whatever I need, or like, you know, and it's like really great. So. This is a good option, but I'm just gonna, like I just took two handfuls there and sprinkled it in with the meat and I'm gonna go ahead and knead all of this meat together. And you really wanna knead this really well because what we're trying to do is push air into the meat. That's what's gonna give your patties like a nice big juicy bites instead of like the little dense patties that you can get sometimes. All right, so there's my little patties. These little four mini ones are for my kids. Um, and obviously, me and Taylor will have one tonight. He might have two, and then we'll have a couple for leftovers, so. Yeah, this is like just a pound of ground beef, and I'm just gonna fry them up over here in my cast iron skillet, and I'm gonna use some of that ghee from earlier. Some of this ghee. I'm gonna go ahead and put that into the pot and go ahead and get these going. So I'm about to have a big old salad. I got this Organic Girl Super Spinach. Um, and I'm gonna add some of that in a bowl with some red onion and tomato. And I'm also gonna add some of this coleslaw mix because I just have some leftover. I need to try and use it up. And I'm gonna make myself a salad here with the burger patty. And then my kids and husband are gonna have buns. Um, and I'll show you guys what it all looks like. I think I'm actually gonna add some pickle and jalapeno in this mix too. All right, guys, so here is my burger. Sorry if it's super loud in the back. Um, I just threw some of these Beecher cheese curds on top. And yeah, I'm gonna serve this up. I haven't figured out what dressing I'm gonna use yet. I might just use ranch, but we'll see what comes up. Ooh, I might actually use some sriracha mayo and add some avocado. Alrighty guys, alrighty. And we have reached the last thing that I'm going to eat tonight. This keto salted caramel ice cream bar. It is my guilty pleasure like little treat thing and I wish that I could find it at another store besides Costco. Actually, my coworker did tell me that she saw this at Hagen's which is a grocery store that we have here in Washington so they might be there. I gotta go and check but she says they're there so. Yeah, and there's another keto ice cream that I'm gonna be trying out here pretty soon. I just haven't gone to the grocery store. Be on the lookout for that for my next grocery haul. I hope that you guys like this video. If you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Thank you for still watching me even though I look like a baked potato. Um, yeah, it's just been a crazy, crazy day. Now I gotta clean my house. Time right now is 7.15, so I'm like 15 minutes out of my window. I started at 11.45 today, noon, something like that. Um, so I'd say I did pretty good. I was not intending on fasting, but it is what it is. I'm done eating for tonight. So, anywho, I hope you guys got some good ideas per usual. I just had two really fat meals today. Um, so yeah, cheers, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.